This video is sponsored by Artisan Fountain Pens. Click the link in the description to find out more. So I wanted to do a quick video on a question that I've been asked a few times and that's regarding the website wish.com and if you've been on YouTube for any amount of time in the past year I'm pretty sure you've probably come across a video of I bought this ridiculously cheap stuff from this website called wish.com and I might or might not have been scammed. That is pretty much the premise of most of the Wish videos. I've watched a few of them and you know people buy ridiculously cheap stuff and they're surprised when they get something which is completely different. Um, Wish.com is legitimately pretty much a scam. Like you do get stuff that um, nine times out of ten you don't really get the stuff that you end up buying. And to be fair, when you're paying, what, $5 for, I don't know, like a computer graphics card and you get something unrelated, can you really be that surprised? Now, the thing is, one of the things that you do find on Wish is fountain pens. And people have asked me, should you get fountain pens from Wish.com? And I've gone ahead and looked at them and I bought one or two fountain pens. And I got to say, um, I am not impressed at all. Uh, I am beyond uh, disappointed with Wish.com. And to save everyone, you know, the five or ten minutes that I ramble on in this video, let me just say, don't buy your fountain pens from Wish.com. You know, use Alibaba, uh, I mean AliExpress or eBay, Banggood or anything. Don't use Wish.com. It will save you a lot of hassle and a lot of time, money, and you're going to end up getting the right fountain pen. So let me just start off by saying, Normally people seem to think that Wish.com offers incredibly awesome uh, deals for stuff and I guess 9 times out of 10 it looks like that Wish.com does have cool um, deals for stuff but on the fountain pen front um, <laughs> you're not really going to be getting any amazing deals on Wish.com. Let's just take it for example um, these fountain pens which I bought off Wish.com they are pretty much your bog standard uh, Lamy Safari clones. Now, if I was to buy the same fountain pen from AliExpress or even eBay, I'd be paying about $2 or even $3 for these pens. Maximum $3 for one of these pens. Um, this pen from um, Wish.com costs me, I think it was 9 or $10. So I was hoping to get something a, a little bit of quality. And as it turns out, the pen that I got from Wish.com, obviously overpriced, plus three or four dollars on shipping. So in total, that was like twelve dollars. And I got a pen which was identical that I bought off um, AliExpress. So I pretty much have two of the exact same fountain pen. So the whole idea that you were getting ridiculously cheap pens is just not true on Wish.com. You're going to be paying at least five dollars for fountain pens which for the most part only cost like two or three dollars max on ali on alibaba and you might ask me you know josh is that really bad you know five dollars for a fountain pen well i gotta say would you rather pay three dollars or six dollars plus shipping for the exact same thing um i gotta say I've also seen a lot of scams on Wish.com. I've seen a lot of fountain pens. Um, I think I saw a, a pen that looked like a Hero 616 for $15 plus shipping on Ali on Wish.com, whereas you can pick it pick it up for like a buck fifty on AliExpress. So on the price factor, you know, um, Wish.com isn't even competing. Um, one cool thing, I guess, that you could say on Wish.com, I guess the only pro that it has going off it is it does have some really cool um, fake fountain pens. And I know some people don't like fake fountain pens, but as someone who does enjoy, you know, going through fake fountain pens, you can find some pretty cool fake Parkers and Mont Blancs on that. I guess that's the only legitimate cool thing that it has going for it. Um, the next thing that I really dislike about Wish.com and the thing that really threw me off the website is the fact that there's not much clarity in the fountain pen that you're actually getting. 
Um, I'll give you an example. This is a fountain pen that I that I bought off Wish.com, and on Wish.com, I think the listing said, um, you know, school fountain pen fine point. I'm pretty sure that's what the listing was. All the listings pretty much look exactly the same. And the pen that I got was an unbranded fountain pen. This is a totally unbranded fountain pen. I could have gotten a Hero, um, you know, um, Lamy knockoff, a Jinhao knockoff or anything, a Tren knockoff. Uh, I could have gotten anything. And this one here was totally unbranded. Same for this one. This was a high school listed um, calligraphy fountain pen. Could have gotten anything and I really do get anything because it was just unbranded. Then the company names and the branding names that they use for fountain pens bear no resemblance to the products that you actually get. And that is a little bit of an issue because one of the reasons that I review a lot of these, you know, cheaper Chinese fountain pens is to sort of, you know, um, see which brand does a good job and what pen you might want to look at in terms of buying, um, which one has better quality control, which one is nicer, which is why I lean to some brands and some pens over the others. With Wish.com, you get absolutely no indication on what sort of pen you can get. You can get an old crappy Hero knockoff, or you can get a much nicer Wingsung knockoff. There's no distinction, and I think that really is a bit of a problem, because when you're paying X amount of money for a pen, or pretty much anything, and there is a, you know, a moderate chance that it might not work, you know, I think it's better to play it safe and actually just go to AliExpress, type in, you know, Jinhao 599 or Wingsung 6365, 6359. Nah, the numbers never get any easier. It's easy just to go to AliExpress, type in Wingsung 6359 and get a profit Wingsung. With Wish.com, there is absolutely no way in knowing what sort of fountain pen you are getting. Uh, the only time that I have gone ahead, typed in Jinhao, and Jinhao was in the search listing, I went ahead and bought it, and the pen that turned up was a different knockoff, unbranded, unbranded knockoff of the Lamy Safari. So that is another strike against Wish.com. And the third reason that I'm not a huge fan of Wish.com is even though that sometimes you might get a fountain pen that resembles the pen that you did buy, uh, the quality of them is just not very good. I think there's always a, a little bit of fogginess into how Chinese, you know, pen brands work because it seems that in a lot of instances there are knockoffs of the knockoffs. I distinctly remember, was it last year or something, there was a knockoff of, was it the Wingsung 6359? There were definitely knockoffs of, of the Lamy All-Stars going around, floating around and posing as them. And the quality of them varied a lot. Um, the, very, you know, the quality of them was pretty poor. You could really tell when you were holding a genuine, genuine, um, knockoff Lamy, which was the Wingsung, and you could tell when you were holding a knockoff, the nib was a lot softer, um, and the, and the metal just was not very good. The castings were worse, and it was just not as well made. You could really tell. And with the fountain pens that I bought from Wish, they tend to be on the worst side. Um, from all the pens that I bought off Wish, They've all had issues in terms of grinding or durability. And that's just not something that I typically get with the pens that I order from AliExpress. Now, obviously, sometimes I do get duped because obviously I did buy some knockoff um, Wingsungs. So obviously, you know, sometimes I do get um, the wrong product from AliExpress. But nine times out of ten, I'm very happy with what I get from AliExpress. The three pens that I bought off Wish.com, I was pretty unhappy with them. Uh, the quality just wasn't there. They just didn't feel like they were made by like a Jinhao factory, even though that one of them does say Jinhao on them. So there's just a lot of fogginess in where they're sourcing all their products for. And that's why that's why I gotta say, if you're looking for 
try these pens. Just don't get them from Wish.com. Save yourself the time, save yourself the money. Go to AliExpress, eBay, Banggood, whatever you want to use and go from there. Wish.com, at least in terms of fountain pens, is not your friend for, for buying fountain pens. And with that, I guess, happy Easter, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.